So today I'm going to show you how I took this image which was printed on Hannah Mula paper torsion and I'm using a, a glossy gel from Golden and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint each component with this medium so that it rises up off the paper and it gives the appearance of an actual painting as opposed to a photograph. So I'm really detailed with how I do this. I start with the smooth parts of the photograph, so baby's hair, skin, arms, dress, and then I'm going to move on to Santa and I'm going to really focus on texturizing the parts of Santa that are highly texturized, like the fur on his hat and the fur on his cuffs and the beard and the creases in his red velvet suit.
I pick it up so that I can more easily see exactly where I've applied the gel and maybe the spots that I've perhaps missed it. As well, I'm not going to put this gel on the background at all, I'm just focusing on the subjects. And basically after I do all of this and make sure that all of the wrinkles and stuff and the textures are where they are, where I want them to be, I should say. Um, then I just let it dry for about 30 minutes. It usually takes about 30 minutes and it's going to dry clear. And basically what I do with the rest is I'll then take acrylic paint and I'll paint over those strokes and embellish it further. Next step is to grab a stencil by Martha Stewart and these are sticky stencils which I didn't know immediately when I opened it but that's okay so you just stick it to the top of the photograph grab your golden medium again the same one that I used last time and I'm just going to use a putty knife and I'm going to put that all over the stencil and make sure that it has gone into all of the little holes and all of the design there. Now after I finish doing this, I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to let this dry for another 30 minutes. This is the step where I just take acrylic paint and you can use 
basic acrylic paint for this or you can use Winsor Newton or whatever kind you happen to have. Because the black in the background of this uh, picture is not pure black, I'm mixing it with a little bit of red and a little bit of a yellow ochre just to give it more of that same color that is already existing. So I'm going to just paint over top of the white border with this particular color and just fill in all the white as my main goal with this. And then you'll see after this, I'm just going to start mixing a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow ochre, and I'm going to create more of what will look like kind of like a backdrop and vignette for this image.
For me, this is the fun part, so I'm going to actually paint over top of my subjects. I'm trying to find a yellowish white color to make the ball on the end of his hat actually stand out because it kind of disappeared in this image. And I'm also going to embellish the fur around his hat and his cuff with the, these colors as well. Afterwards, I'm going to grab a, a much brighter white just for the details and the highlights and apply that as well. I do tend to use my fingers. It comes from my drawing days. <laughs> I'm always smudging with my fingers. So I also will use red and um, mix that up with a little bit of yellow ochre and paint that over top of the Santa suit as well. Next product I'm going to use is a Treasure Gold. It's a brilliant metallic luster kind of sticky paint. I love this. I use it on a lot of my crafts. And basically you just grab a little bristly brush like this one and make sure that your brush gets super dry. I don't want too much on because it's very brilliant gold and you can kind of screw up if you do it. In all honesty though, there's with painting there's really no screw up because you can always paint over top of it. But you don't need very much of this to get the effect that you might need and I like to kind of 
use it super lightly and go all around the entire painting just so that it has a gold kind of shimmery vignette. For this next step, I'm just getting some really watery white paint and I'm going to cover up my subjects with a napkin. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to spray with the brush and my, my thumb just spots and it just kind of gives it that snowy or dusty kind of vintage feel. I like, I like the effect of it and you'll see at the very end. I mean, right now it doesn't look very good, but at the very end after I apply my lacquer that it looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing now with another color from my Treasure Gold, except this one is a rose gold. So this one's called Rose Gold, yeah. The last one was uh, just a gold. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the Rose Gold and then apply the lacquer.
So this is what it's looking like now. That doesn't take much to dry because it's mostly water. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab my lacquer and I'm going to show you how it completely, with this gloss varnish, it just will transform this into an amazing, like I can't even really describe to you what it ends up looking like on video, but in person it's absolutely spectacular. And because I used the gel medium and then I painted and then I finish with a varnish, it it just it's very hard it feels like a little canvas painting in your hand and I love I love doing these kinds of things I think it just makes everything so much more unique you can do this with an entire uh, portrait as well like it doesn't have to be this is just five by seven but I've tried this on all kinds of paper you guys and it doesn't matter what kind you use I I always use Hannah Mula paper for everything that I do so the fine art paper is very thick as it is so it's more like a cardstock anyway but you can do this with a portrait that you print yourself and then embellish it like this and you can charge probably quite a bit more than you would in your normal studio pricing for this kind of technique but it really is quite spectacular and uh, this happens to be my granddaughter and my husband playing Grandpa Santa and so that's why she was super happy with the kiss and she wasn't, you know, creeped out or scared. Anyway, I will be doing some Christmas ornaments shortly and um, I thought maybe I'll videotape them too if you're interested in seeing how I make those. I'm happy to do it, but I thought I would start showing you guys more of my artistic stuff than just plain photography. Let me know in the comments if you like that, if you're interested at all, or maybe I should stop. But right now because of COVID I really can't shoot and so crafts are pretty much my life and my hands look like crap and the reason for that is why guys lots and lots of hand sanitizer and washing so my cuticles are a mess and haven't been able to get in for a manicure in what feels like a hundred years I guess but this is what the card looks like when I'm all finished. Do you see how delicious that is? Oh my God, I wish you could hold it. It's amazing. So I'm sending this off to my son-in-law's mother who lives way down in Newfoundland. And so she hasn't even met our granddaughter yet. So I have a little package I'm sending off for her. And this is the card. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day. Bye.